Hello all. Welcome to the course Refactoring Python Code. My name is Rudy, and this is a course by Pact Publishing. Course Introduction. So a little bit about me. I have six years of experience in data science. I have deep technical experience with quantitative trading and statistical modeling. I'm currently building natural language generation technology. Overview. Let's take a look at what we will learn in this course. We'll first start with how we can get started with refactoring. We'll talk about removing Python anti-patterns, which are patterns that signify you have technical debts or unclean code in your code base. We'll talk about how we can refactor methods. So methods are also called functions. In this chapter, we're going to show you how we can refactor things in functions. And then we're going to move on to refactoring classes and objects. So when you have a code base that is based on OOP principles, how can we refactor those? And then we're going to move on to pattern based refactorings, which are less groupable into methods or classes and objects, but more based on recognizing patterns of what's happening in your code base. In the last section, we're going to talk about using third party refactoring to prerequisites. The only prerequisites of this course is we want you to have a strong understanding of Python programming. So what this means here is you probably have one or two years of Python programming experience. You're probably well versed in Python itself, but maybe you need a more systematic overview of what makes good clean code in Python that doesn't contain a lot of technical debt. This is what the course is designed to show you. Goals. We want to teach you three things. Number one, we want you to learn techniques and methods to improve the design of your existing code. Number two, we want you to identify code that requires refractoring and apply the techniques learned. Number three, apply the learned techniques to your legacy code and bring it up to date using refactoring techniques. Without further ado, let's begin. 